Hello everyone and welcome back to Real Living and welcome if you're new. My name's Ashley and this week's video I was able to get a ton of stuff done in just a couple days. So we have a ton of cleaning motivation for you guys. So come along with me and let's get motivated and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So first room I am starting in is my kitchen and there was quite a few things that needed to be done in here but nothing that was really too overwhelming. So it was kind of the basic clean just a little bit more of it. I had uh, some dishes from the night before that I hadn't gotten to and the counters and stuff like that. The um, main thing that really needed to be cleaned in the kitchen was the um, stove and the floors. Now, the floors are always a necessity in my house, especially with the dogs and the kids and everything else, but the floors are definitely something that it's usually the worst part of a room, and that's always, like, the main focus, but you always have to take care of everything else and leave the floors for last. So, I took care of the dishes, the stove, and the counters, and then I made my way to, uh, vacuuming and mopping the floors I see you from across the room it's kind of crowded here but I know you see me too everybody singing oh everybody singing oh I don't know what it is about you it must be in the way you move just say you want me to we got Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you Just say the word and we can leave this place I'll take you anywhere Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you It feels like I'm drunk on you It's almost like you make me fly And when I look at you smile I don't know how but it feels like I'm drunk on you It feels like I'm drunk on you It feels like I'm drunk on you Suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing under the night sky 
When you took my hand, said, let's leave now Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind Talking to you gave me butterflies Then you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy to the living room pretty much the same thing the main issue was the floors like I said the floors are always the worst I am always barefoot and I am always wiping sand or stuff off of my feet um, I don't like shoes so I try to keep my floors uh, clean so that I'm not always brushing my feet off or getting dirt on them or stuff like that but um I wanted to start with the dusting because it had been I'd say about a week a week and a half since I did a really good dusting so um, just going through making sure I get all of the stuff on the walls wiping down the uh, entertainment center in the fireplace and then just vacuuming the floors and straighten up the couch pretty much a basic cleaning like it normally would be on any other day Don't wanna be shy. Forever, forever. 
complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling Just loving The hallway usually gets pretty bad when it comes to the floors, but the dusting usually isn't that bad. So I did want to go ahead and wipe everything down, get the chair moldings wiped down, the back door, stuff that the uh, dust can actually and sometimes does uh, lay on. But the hallway dust-wise does not get as um, bad as the living room and some other places of the house. I think it's mainly because we just walk through here. We don't really hang out in here or anything like that. I mean, it is just a hallway, so it doesn't really have much other than a lot of foot traffic. So typically the worst thing that I have to deal with in this hallway is the floors. But I just wanted to go through and just give it a good little dust and then take care of the floors. Can we stay here forever? I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. 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 Vacuuming the floor in the den before I mopped it and then Rubble decided to come over and sniff the camera and say hi to all of you so it was a really cute moment and I definitely had to keep it in the cam in the video um usually he leaves the camera alone he doesn't do much but it was adorable just loving this moment can always stay here forever forever So for this week's recipe, um, I have been craving some fish. So I decided to pick up some tilapia from Walmart and I wanted to go ahead and fry it. I was kind of leaning between um, frying it or doing a really good baked fish. But on this day, I was just kind of tired and I just wanted to be done with everything. And I wanted a really good comfort food. And for me, I know I'm a big girl, so comfort food can sometimes be fried food. But um, frying fish has always kind of been one of my things. I have fried fish my whole life. It was one of my dad's favorite things. He loved to have a big old fish fry after he went out with his friends to go fishing for the whole day. They'd come home, they'd clean the fish, and then I would cook it. And it's kind of a nostalgic meal for me, so frying fish is one of my favorites. Um, one of the things that I do is I like to use an egg wash, and I like to mix um, breadcrumbs into my flour. So that's what you saw me do in the beginning. Mix... Um, I think I usually I eyeball it I don't have a lot of measurements but I'm gonna do my best when I do the uh, description and l uh, list all of my ingredients and my steps and everything but I try to do one part breadcrumbs to two sometimes three parts uh, flour and heavily heavily season your flour 
and also your egg wash. You want to flour first and then put it in the egg wash so that the egg wash has something to stick to and then you put it back in the flour and I like to do that beforehand so that it gives time for it to adhere to the fish. That way when I put it in the oil, the flour is not just going to come off immediately in the oil and the fish isn't going to be coated. So that is one of the best tips that I can do is to do it to uh, coat your fish before you fry it. Let it sit for about five to ten minutes and just let it absorb into the fish so that when you fry it, it's not going to go everywhere. Um, fish usually takes very little time to fry. Um, about five minutes on one side and two, three minutes on the other side just until they're a nice, beautiful golden brown. This uh, tilapia is a very firm fish, but it's very flaky once it's done and it's one of my favorites. I'm just serving it with a little bit of french fries as well. The sauce that you guys saw me make was a homemade tartar sauce. I'm going to list that in the description as well. It is just mayonnaise, uh, pickle relish, some mustard, and some salt, pepper, garlic, and lemon juice. It is super, super simple. to the guest bathroom I guess you can call it this is mainly the kids's bathroom um, it's a half bath right now but it used to be a full bath our bathroom is the one that gets the most use because we had some water damage and stuff like that in this bathroom and we have a ton of plans and a lot of big projects that need to be done in this bathroom I need to redo the walls, I need to redo the floors, I need to get my shower back in there. I mean, there's just a lot to do. I don't film this one as much because it is not as, it's used but not used at the amount of the other bathroom. Since there is no shower, um, the kids will only go in here to either use the bathroom or brush their teeth. So it doesn't see too much traffic throughout the day, especially when the kids are in school. But um, yeah, every once in a while, it definitely gets to the point where it's like, this will be pretty satisfying to film or I really, really need to get this clean. So that's what this was all, I had to get it done. So that's what I did. Oh, 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 oh,
bathroom which is the main bathroom that gets used it's the only bathroom in the house that has the shower so everybody in the house um, always uses this every day so it tends to get pretty messy um, more often than the other bathrooms so starting off with just getting some of the stuff off the floor clearing out these showers so that I can get it cleaned and then I move on to the toilet and the vanity and the mirrors and leaving the floors for very last. Um, the only difference when I do the mopping in the bathrooms, the only difference I do for my solution is I do add just a tiny bit of bleach, like a capful to maybe two tablespoons of bleach into my mop water. I just feel like it just helps get the the urine smell and it sanitizes the floor because we all know how boys can be and I know my son sometimes misses I'm sure his father does too so I try to take care of that um, another thing is I have been asked in the past why I don't wear gloves when I'm cleaning um, certain things especially like the toilet my thing is is I don't like gloves I don't like my hands confined like that I, I it's a sen sensory issue for me I don't like the way they feel I don't feel like I can feel when something is clean so I don't use gloves I wash my hands constantly throughout the day especially after I clean a toilet as soon as I'm done cleaning that toilet my hands are straight into the water getting washed I don't waste time um, that's also why I don't wear gloves when I cook and everything else. My hands are always getting washed. They are always so dry because they get washed so much. But um, that is the main reason. So if anybody out there is wondering why I don't wear gloves, that's why. hope you guys enjoyed this week's video I hope it gave you some motivation to get some stuff done around the house I know that a lot of it is just basic everyday cleaning but that is the stuff that we do every day is we always do the basic everyday cleaning so I hope that this helped you get motivated uh, leave me a comment down below let me know what you think uh, what is you guys' favorite fish that was one of my biggest questions was I love frying fish and cooking fish and eating fish. So what is your guys' favorite fish? Um, are you allergic to fish? Can you not eat it? Do you not like it? I'm just really curious. I love talking to you guys and I can't wait to see you all next week. So thank you all so much for watching.